Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Morris and I make art tutorials that are fun, easy, and accessible for everyone. Today we're going to be doing a white cup of coffee on a white piece of paper. So I'm going to go over how we go about that and then we're going to get on with the pouring of the coffee part. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below I subscribed and I'll get back to each and every one of you. I really love hearing from you and it makes my heart happy. So when you're doing something white on a white piece of paper, you have to kind of assess which is darker. Is the cup darker than the background or is the background darker than the cup? Um, same thing when you're doing white fur on a dog or a cat, same thing. You have to look at those subtle nuances. So we're going over the um, whole part of the cup with a very cool gray color. And um, this is just going to make it stand out against the background. And then we're gonna go and put in some of our shadows which will define it a little bit better. Now I'm going in with um, some ochre colors into my coffee part. And I know what you're gonna say. Everything is gonna look kind of orangey in the beginning. But um, as always with colored pencil, it's best in a ton of light layers. So we're going over the whole thing with a nice light coat of some ochres and oranges which is gonna be the part that shows through uh, the liquid as it's pouring out. You can kind of see through some parts of it, so some parts are gonna be darker and some parts are gonna be lighter and you're gonna have a little bit of that rich orangey kind of reddish color showing through. So there is a reason why I'm putting that down as a base layer. I know we're gonna cover a lot of it up, but it does really make for a much more realistic drawing in the end when you layer all your colors this way. So I've started with a really nice accurate sketch of what I'm doing. And I basically put in where all my tonal changes are. So where my highlights are and where my um, really dark shadows are, I've marked those in. Um, other than that, I've kind of left the rest um, for my blending and my uh, transitions to happen. So you wanna definitely start with a nice sketch. And I've sampled all of my colors on a separate piece of paper um, before I started. And I have sharpened all of my color pencils ahead of time. This will make your life a whole lot easier as you're going through the drawing. You won't have to keep stopping and sharpening your pencils and you won't have to go back and sketch something else in your drawing if you get lost. Um, so it'll make your life a whole lot easier to be prepared in the beginning. So the goal right now is to try to get a really nice light coat uh, down on everything in the cup so all of the coffee part I'm trying to get a nice light coat down and this makes blending a whole lot easier when you have a nice base layer down so I'm going back into the cup and I'm just deepening up my shadows and you can see where everything starts to kind of be defined off of the page so the white cup on the white paper is going to start to come alive a bit so we're just adding a nice light layer of where our shadows are and we're just going to blend that in with some white color pencil in a little bit. I am using Polychromos color pencils today and I am using um, Fabriano Artistico hot press watercolor paper for this. So it's a pretty smooth finish on this one but it's a nice thick paper so it can take some erasing and it can take a lot of layers of color. The pencil sharpener that I use is the Derwent Super Point pencil sharpener. It's a manual crank sharpener, and it leaves such a wonderful point, really nice long lead point on your pencils. Um, so I do recommend that sharpener, and I'll have a link down below um, for that. Uh, it was a recent purchase, and I'm loving it. It does my um, pastel pencils as well as my color pencils. And if you sharpen a graphite pencil in between every few pencils, it'll keep the blade sharp for a little bit longer. 
It would really mean the world to me if you guys would smash that like button and let me know that you're liking my content and my videos. Um, I'm always curious to know whether you guys prefer a tutorial video like this one and all my other ones where I go over how I'm um, doing things and the steps that I'm going to um, make my finished product or whether you guys just want to see um, some time-lapse drawings of some crazy stuff. Um, let me know in the comments below. So coffee originated in the Kingdom of Sheba, which was in Ethiopia and Yemen. Uh, the earliest sources of this were uh, about a farmer who noticed his goats becoming more energized after eating coffee berries. And um, it dates back to 850 CE and possibly earlier. Um, so coffee goes back a long, long way, has a long, long history. Um, I love my coffee in the morning. It's the first thing I do when I wake up. I check my YouTube analytics, put on my pot of coffee, and start my day. Um, so let me know in the comments how you like your coffee. Okay, so we're back into our um, coffee and saucer and we're adding some more cool grays to the cup just to give it a little more definition and we're gonna make that saucer look more rounded and we're gonna give the cup a little bit more definition as well so you can see that it is starting to um, come off the paper so it, it has some form and shape now now that we've given it a little bit of color and you don't have to go all crazy with your shadows but um, I did put in that little shadow underneath the saucer just to give that edge a little bit of shape but you don't you want to avoid putting outlines down you don't want to have outlines your outlines should be where your contrast meets so you you want to form your lines with your shadows and your contrast. You don't want to put outlines. Outlines are um, what makes it start to look cartoony. Um, and for a more realistic drawing, it really should just be where your two um, or three tonal colors meet and they form a line. So now we're just going over everything that we went over before and we're just darkening up all of our shadows. So I'm going in with the rich brown and I'm just deepening up and enriching all of those tones where my shadows are and trying to um, get the look that the coffee is actually pouring and splashing up out of the cup. And we're going to do this by putting our really dark values right next to where our really light values are. That's where you get the drawing to pop is where you have really high contrast. So if you've been going in with really light layers, um, you should still be able to use your eraser if you need to. Here I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Um, sometimes you get some colored pencil crumbs and I use my kneaded eraser to clean up the area around my drawing so that I'm not dragging those little pieces and messing up my paper. But you should really be able to go in and still pick out a highlight if you need to with an electric eraser or a stick eraser at this point. Um, as we get more and more layers, it's going to be harder to pull that color up. But right now, um, we're still in the phase where we can get some of that up if need be with an eraser. So here we are with the electric eraser and just pulling up a couple of those highlights um, that I felt needed to be punched up a little bit. And now I'm going to glaze over some more color of color pencil over those spots where I just pulled off and and then we're gonna work on putting our dark shadow next to that highlight that I just picked out of there and you can see where the contrast um, changes is where it really starts to look three-dimensional so my focus right now is really trying to push my values so I really want to get my lights light enough and my my dark shadow areas um, even darker than they are now and this is where the drawing gets really rich and and really beautiful and 3d looking so we're just gonna clean up our lines 
and add in um, a little bit more of our gray in our saucer. We're gonna try to clean up our lines and make our lines a little bit straighter um, and a little more purposeful. And we're gonna add a little bit more shadow into the bottom and shadow where the cup uh, handle is. So now it's all about like straightening your lines, cleaning any straight pencil lines up, um, kind of refining your um, dark shadows and your highlights. And we're doing a little burnishing at this point. So I'm going in and I'm increasing the pressure on my pencils and kind of blending all of that white color pencil and gray color pencil together and going back into the coffee and blending all of those deep shades with our mid-tones, with our highlights, and just doing a final little um, pick out of our highlight with an electric eraser. Gonna glaze over that with some more colored pencil. And we're just kind of finishing things up in this stage in the game. If you guys really enjoy my content and found this video useful and helpful, Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below for me. I really love hearing from each and every one of you. I do love um, having that rapport back and forth with you guys in the comment section. Um, it makes me feel a little closer to my audience and hopefully you'll feel a little uh, more personalized with me by um, putting some comments in that comment section. I really do look at that every day and I do get back to each and every one of you. And I want to thank you guys so much for your support and for watching my content. And happy art.